So in the first pre-lab question, we had to rearrange the two equations here. Um, for part A, we wanted to rearrange this one solving for wavelength. Okay, so if we want wavelength by itself, we're going to divide both sides by the frequency. And we're going to get wavelength equals the speed of light over frequency. Okay. Part B asks to solve this same equation for frequency. So if I want frequency by itself, we're going to divide both sides by wavelength. And we'll end up with frequency equals speed of light over wavelength. And then the third part of part one asked us to solve this equation for frequency. Again, we divide both sides by h in order to get frequency by itself. So frequency equals energy over Planck's constant. We're going to be using this equation whenever we're trying to find wavelength. We'll use this equation if we're trying to find energy. And then we'll use one of these when we're trying to find frequency. It will depend on what information we're given. All right, so for the, I'm going to do the first two rows of the table for pre-lab question number two. So remember, our wavelength is the lambda symbol. Frequency is this symbol. Energy is capital E. And if you have one of those, you can solve for the rest of the information in the table. So when we're given frequency, if we want to find wavelength, we're going to use this equation right here. Okay. I'm going to show my work down here. So we've got wavelength equals the speed of light over frequency. And again, you don't have to memorize this equation. It comes from this one. I'll always give this to you on a test. And the constants I will give to you on the test. So for this lab, the speed of light is 2.998 times 10 to the 17th nanometers per second. So I'll put that here, 2.998 times 10 to the 17th nanometers per second. Okay. Divided by the frequency, which was given to us in the data table, 1.638 times 10 to the 15th hertz. And if you remember, hertz means per second. So nanometers per second divided by per second. The per seconds cancel. Our answer is going to give us nanometers. Okay, now to punch these into your calculator, it's a little bit of a scientific notation process. So you would punch in 2.998, then hit this EXP button down at the bottom. On some calculators, it'll say EE instead of EXP, and then type in the exponent, 17. Then divide it by 1.638 EXP 15. And we get this answer, 183.028. Now for sig fig purposes, this has four sig figs. This also has four sig figs, so I need to round my answer to four sig figs when I put it in the table. So I'm going to round it to 183.0 and write that up here, 183.0 nanometers. To find energy for this one, again, if we're trying to find energy, we're going to use this equation always. So energy equals H times nu. Okay. H is Planck's constant, which I will always give you on labs and tests. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules seconds. And we're multiplying that by the frequency from the table, 1.638 times 10 to the 15th hertz, which means per second. So seconds times per second is going to cancel out, leaving us with joules. Okay. Again, punch that into your calculator the same way. Um, 6.626 EXP, the negative on these calculators is up here, 34 times 1.638 EXP 15 and we get 1.085 yada yada times 10 to the negative 18th with that exponent there. So 1.085 after the 5 was a 3 so that's going to be my 4 sig figs here times 10 to the negative 18th, and my unit is joules. 1.085 times 10 to the negative 18th joules. To figure out the type of radiation or the color of light, you have to go back to the front of your pre-lab, and we're going to look in this table. Okay, we All we have to do is find the wavelength 
for our answer. So we had 183.0 nanometers. Okay. Um, and that's going to fall into this range, 740 nanometers to 1 millimeter. So it's a little higher than 740, and that's infrared radiation. Oh, sorry. 183.0 fits into this one, 5 nanometers to 380. I was thinking 800, not 183. Okay, so 5 to 380, so that's ultraviolet, and that's what I'm going to write here in my table. Okay, next one. When you're given just energy, we have to work backwards. So we're going to try and find frequency first. When you're trying to decide which equation to use, you look at what you have. We have energy, so I'm going to use this equation because that has energy in it. Okay? I'm going to show my work over here for this one. So frequency for this second line of the table is going to equal the energy over Planck's constant, which is... 5.486 times 10 to the negative 19 joules divided by Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules seconds. The joules cancel out. This is going to leave us with something per second, which is also called hertz. And then we'll type that into our calculator. I'll give you the final answers here in a minute. Type that in. 5.486 EXP negative 19 divided by Planck's constant 6.626 EXP negative 34. And we get 8.2795 times 10 to the 14th. 8.2795 times 10 to the 14th. Hertz. Now for sig figs, again, four sig figs, four sig figs. This whole worksheet has four sig figs. The five will round the nine up, so we're going to end up with 8.280 times 10 to the 14 hertz. And we'll record that over here. 8.280 times 10 to the 14 hertz. Now I can use that similarly to how I use this here to find the frequency, or to find the wavelength of our light. Okay? So wavelength equals C over frequency. So 2.998 times 10 to the 17 nanometers per second divided by the frequency that we just calculated right here, 8.280 times 10 to the 14 hertz. So the per second and the hertz cancel out, giving us nanometers, and we'll type that one in. 2.998 EXP17 divided by 8.280 EXP14. We get 362.07. 362.07 nanometers is the unit. Sig fig wise though, the 7 is going to round the 0 up. So when we record it over here, it will be 362.1 nanometers. Then we look back to the front of the packet. 362.1 is also in our ultraviolet light range. And that's how you fill in this table.